1. Dot, what is a multiple effect evaporator? A multiple effect evaporator is a system used to concentrate a liquid solution by utilizing the heat from steam in multiple stages or effects. The vapor generated in one effect is used as the heating source for the subsequent effect, resulting in increased efficiency and reduced energy consumption. 2. Dot, what are the advantages of a multiple effect evaporator over a single effect evaporator? The advantages of a multiple effect evaporator include higher energy efficiency, lower steam consumption, reduced operating costs, compact design, and higher evaporation rates compared to single effect evaporators. 3. Dot, how does a multiple effect evaporator work? A multiple effect evaporator operates by passing the liquid solution through a series of evaporator vessels or effects. In each effect, the solution is heated by steam, causing part of the liquid to evaporate. The vapor generated in each effect is then used as the heat source for the subsequent effect, creating a cascade of evaporative effects. 4. Dot, what is the principle behind the energy savings in a multiple effect evaporator? The energy savings in a multiple effect evaporator result from the reuse of vapor generated in each effect as the heat source for the next effect. This reduces the steam consumption required to generate new vapor in subsequent effects, leading to significant energy efficiency gains. 5. Dot, what is the concept of the evaporator economy? Evaporator economy refers to the ratio of the amount of vapor produced in the evaporator to the amount of steam consumed. In a multiple effect evaporator, the evaporator economy increases with each additional effect, indicating better energy efficiency. 6. Dot, what are the typical applications of multiple effect evaporators? Multiple effect evaporators are widely used in various industries for concentrating liquids, such as in the production of sugar, dairy products, fruit juices, pharmaceuticals, and chemicals. They are also employed in desalination processes and wastewater treatment. 7. Dot, what are the different types of multiple effect evaporators? The different types of multiple effect evaporators include forward feed, backward feed, and mixed feed arrangements. Additionally, various designs, such as rising film, falling film, forced circulation, and natural circulation, can be employed based on the characteristics of the liquid being evaporated. 8. Dot, what factors affect the performance of a multiple effect evaporator? The performance of a multiple effect evaporator is influenced by factors such as the temperature difference between the heating medium and the liquid solution, heat transfer coefficient, vapor flow rates, boiling point elevation, scaling and fouling tendencies, and system pressure. 9. Dot, how is the steam economy calculated in a multiple effect evaporator system? The steam economy of a multiple effect evaporator system is calculated by dividing the total mass of vapor evaporated in all effects by the mass of steam consumed. It provides a measure of the system's energy efficiency. 10. Dot, what is the concept of heat transfer area in a multiple effect evaporator? Heat transfer area in a multiple effect evaporator refers to the surface area available for heat exchange between the heating medium, steam, and the liquid being evaporated. It is a critical parameter that determines the evaporation capacity and overall performance of the system. 11. Dot, what are the challenges in operating a multiple effect evaporator? Some common challenges in operating a multiple effect evaporator include scaling and fouling of heat transfer surfaces, controlling system pressure and temperature managing viscosity changes, and ensuring proper distribution of the liquid solution across each effect. 12. Dot, how can scaling and fouling be minimized in a multiple effect evaporator? Scaling and fouling can be minimized by regular cleaning and maintenance of heat transfer surfaces, using appropriate anti-scaling agents or chemicals, implementing effective control measures, and optimizing operating parameters to reduce the likelihood of fouling. 13. Dot, what safety precautions should be taken when operating a multiple effect evaporator? Safety precautions for operating a multiple effect evaporator include ensuring proper ventilation, monitoring system pressure and temperature, implementing emergency shutoff systems, providing personal protective equipment, pay, and following standard operating procedures to prevent accidents or chemical exposures. 14. Dot, how does the choice of heating medium impact the performance of a multiple effect evaporator? The choice typically steam, impacts the performance of a multiple effect evaporator in terms of energy consumption, heat transfer efficiency, and the overall operating costs. Higher quality steam with lower moisture content is preferred for better efficiency. 15. Dot, can you explain the concept of backward feed and forward feed arrangements in multiple effect evaporators? In a backward feed arrangement, the liquid solution enters the last effect and flows in the reverse direction to the steam in a forward feed arrangement, the liquid enters the first effect and flows in the same direction as the steam flow.
both arrangements have their advantages and disadvantages based on the specific application and desired concentration profile. 16. Dot, what is the significance of the condenser in a multiple effect evaporator? The condenser in a multiple effect evaporator is responsible for condensing the vapor from the last effect into liquid form, thereby transferring the heat to a cooling medium, usually water. Efficient condensation is crucial for maintaining the low system pressure and maximizing energy savings. 17. Dot, how can you improve the evaporation efficiency in a multiple effect evaporator? Evaporation efficiency in a multiple effect evaporator can be improved by optimizing the design and operating conditions, maximizing the heat transfer area, minimizing heat losses, reducing scaling and fouling, and ensuring proper maintenance of the equipment. 18. Dot, what is the role of a vapor separator in a multiple effect evaporator? A vapor separator in a multiple effect evaporator is used to separate the vapor from the liquid in each effect. It allows the vapor to pass to the next effect while ensuring that the liquid is retained within the appropriate effect. 19. Dot, how does a mechanical vapor recompression MVR, system enhance the performance of a multiple effect evaporator? A mechanical vapor recompression MVR, system utilizes a compressor to elevate the pressure and temperature of the vapor generated in the evaporator, enabling it to be used as a heat source in subsequent effects. Dot, this eliminates the need for external steam, resulting in further energy savings. 20. Dot, can you explain the concept of thermal vapor recompression TV, in a multiple effect evaporator? Thermal vapor recompression TV, involves using a portion of the vapor from a high pressure effect to heat the liquid solution in the subsequent lower pressure effect. It utilizes the principle of heat transfer between vapor and liquid to enhance the energy efficiency of the evaporator. 21. Dot, how does a multiple effect evaporator handle the boiling point elevation phenomenon? Boiling point elevation refers to the increase in the boiling point of a liquid due to the presence of dissolved solutes. In a multiple effect evaporator, the boiling point elevation can be managed by adjusting the system pressure or using anti-scaling chemicals to mitigate the effects of boiling point rise. 22. Dot, what are the common materials of construction for multiple effect evaporators? The materials of construction for multiple effect evaporators depend on the nature of the liquid being evaporated and the process conditions. Common materials include stainless steel, titanium, nickel alloys, and glass lined steel, which provide corrosion resistance and durability. 23. Dot, how do you determine the number of effects required for a specific evaporation process? The number of effects required for a specific evaporation process depends on factors such as the desired concentration ratio. Available steam pressure, heating surface area, heat transfer coefficients, and the properties of the liquid being evaporated. Detailed process calculations are typically performed to determine the optimal number of effects.